the title of the show, Anatomical Study, actually becomes a very big key to the whole show because you'll notice that every single work is now called Anatomical Study, bracket subtitle of some kind. But the film in the side room originally had that name, so I was using like the instrument of filmmaking tools as a way to make a very intricate study of this time it was botanical seeds. You know, so it uses the idea of seed banks as recording devices and the film as a kind of recording device. When I made Anatomical Study 1, I just looked, researched about the relationship of the silver to the film and realised it's always been recycled. And I like the shift from the fluctuating image, the restless kind of image that you can't stop and physically seize. Suddenly in this lumpen, coagulated object and whether it was just in the vat or if I could retrieve it and try to make something in this transformative process. I could use that raw material as the starting point. It was quite an interesting moment to be asked by Vim to show in this space. Um, it was an anatomical theatre. That was an exciting moment that I could bring in this kind of transitionary work um, and then take this extra year to research and think and open out dissecting and, you know, cutting open, analysing. Those kind of dissections became sort of almost like a way that I could navigate. The work where the lens is cut open and dissected and this material's kind of almost melting out of this kind of metaphoric eye. It's the last work in the show, so they become sort of brackets. So in between I've made the drawings, the orchids, the pencils, silver that I got from the from the material led me to you know return to a fundamental kind of way of working that we we've always wanted to make a mark to describe something so I just re reached into like a very everyday environment and picked out the pencils to cast or this orchid which the orchid itself has to be incinerated to make that cast during the research in Kew Gardens seeing the works, um, the, the creators, uh, her name's Edith Delta Blackman, and she was commissioned in the 1890s to make these incredible pedagogical, graphically um, accurate um, wax models. And that's kind of how I first encountered them, in the way that the show's framed, because as you enter, you see these two sort of side rooms of effect specimens. And interestingly, they're so hyper-real that you doubt whether it's, I'm a real orchid or something. I'm, I chose them precisely because they were made out of the necessity. So they're not decorative objects. They're, they're teaching tools. And they were putting together all the limitations of the other mediums. 